the law. It's super cool. Any volunteers? Okay, so to inflate the lungs, and this happens inside any animal who has lungs at, when they breathe in oxygen, okay? Uh, I might actually need a volunteer because I'm not sure I can do it by myself, okay? So each of the lungs has little holes in it. So if you can, well, here's a big hole right here, okay, that I'm sticking my finger in. All right, and there are some other small ones over here. Okay, and then if we keep looking, we would see. So I'm going to try to inflate this section of the lung right here, okay, and through that one small hole. So I've inserted it, and let's see if I can do this myself. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see from where you're at, but every time I pump more air in, the lung get, is expanding and getting bigger, and we can see each of the um, bronchioles and the um, alve alveoli are what's expanding, okay? So, I just inflated it, okay? There's still a little bit of air. We can see, uh, I really wish I could bring this around. But you can see it got lighter in color, okay? Uh, and it kind of, it expanded um, because of the air present, okay? So each of these little, let me put some more in here. inflated lung okay um, each of these would be the bronchioles okay leading to the sacs the air sacs which would be the alveoli okay so super cool super cool and I'm gonna let it deflate so every time an animal breathes it inflates the whole thing okay and the lungs expand and then as they exhale, the lungs do the opposite of and deflate, okay? So um, you can see there's still some air in here, so it's still a little bit, it's still a little um, inflated, and it'll take some time for it to go back to um, the rest of the state of the lungs. So both of these individually are the lungs of the animal. Can an animal live without their lungs? Can it live without one lung? Yeah, so you can live without um, a part of a lung or without one whole lung, but then that just makes breathing that much harder. So 